hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button now let's get right into this video so here on my nails now i have the glass nails that vanity val does on her channel all the time and since they are plain i didn't know like if i should post them so i just decided to add a design and make it a separate video so let me know down below if you would like to see how i did that and here i have this beautiful green color i just used my electric green from nail addict la and some black gelish polish i mixed it up together and created this color and then i'm taking this little extra brush that comes in the dip powder kits and i'm just going to use this to polish that green color onto my index middle and ring finger and this is going to be my saint patrick's day nails apparently um i let time and the dates slip away i don't know why i thought i had more time before i can get this nail video out but today is actually saint patrick's day and i'm going to be posting this tomorrow so yeah i'm just going to be doing a little saint patrick's day and i'm making sure that i clean up the gel polish on my skin before i cure the nail light and i just can't get over how beautiful this color is um hopefully i can find some gel polish that looks exactly like this from nail addict la because i do plan on getting some more gel polish from them this is how the first coat looks i just cured my nail light for 60 seconds and i added some more and it turned out a little patchy after i cured so i'm just going over that with a top coat and then i'm also going to cure for um 60 seconds and look how pretty that looks i absolutely love this green color and then for my other two fingers i'm taking this gold glitter and some base coat from model ones and I'm just going to add a layer of face coat on my pinky nail and I'm going to be adding this glitter and this was my alternative because I didn't have any like gold glitter um, gel polish or anything of that sort so this was a good alternative and these nails turned out great I'm just also taking that little brush that I used to put on that green gel polish and I'm just tapping this on my nails into the wet base coat gel and here for my pinky nail I'm actually tapping it into my nail but I did the same exact thing on my thumbnail and when I got to that nail I thought I mean I realized that actually rubbing it on instead of tapping it was the best application method for this but I didn't record my thumb I would have showed that one instead but I didn't record that one so here is my pinky and yeah I'm just getting a good coverage of that once I can't apply any more glitters I'm going to cure this add another layer of base coat and put on some more glitters And this is how that second layer of glitters look like it looks so good and this is how my nails look so far these color combinations look so good together i love how this gold complements that green so for my nail art i'm going to be using these um colors i'm going to be using the colors of the rainbow this red is from beetles and the rest of the colors are from nail attic la and i do have a code i will link it in the description box and i didn't have a purple so i just ended up mixing some red and blue together to create my last color so to start off i'm taking my red with this line brush and i did this little swoop and once i get that good enough before i cure i'm making sure that i clean up with my brush with some acetone before i cure and then once i finish this nail i'm going to cure and i actually went over this before i started my next nail and then once i've done that i'm just lining up my nails and marking like where the first color left off because once i put my nails to together i didn't want this to be like crooked or anything so i just got where that one left off and then i'm just continuing to doing that throughout all the nails and then once I do my last nail, I'm just going to continue to do that with each of the colors.
then once I finish that last color, this is how the rainbow looks. I just love these colors together. Like, it is so bright and pretty. Yeah, and then I felt like something was missing. So, I'm taking some of the white gelish polish with my, with my dotting tool. And I'm just going to create some clouds. I'm just doing, like, two clouds on each of the nails because I didn't want to, like, do too much. So, yeah, I'm just doing two clouds on each nail. And doing clouds is super easy. I feel like this is absolutely one of my go-to um, nail arts because I'm not really that good with nail art. So, doing clouds clouds it's like in my comfort zone even though I need to like do more things so I can get used to doing nail art but yeah I'm just doing these clouds and then once I got all of the clouds on my nails I cured for 30 seconds and I wanted to add something a little bit more so like you know like the little star things that people be doing on the nails I tried to do this I started off with the dot in the middle and then I'm taking this toothpick and just making the point from the circle that I added and then it didn't look right so I just wiped that off and then started again and I actually did this like three times. This was actually my third attempt and I didn't want to do it anymore. So I just felt like that was good enough. And I just went ahead and did it. Um, The last one I did on my ring finger that looks a total mess. But I was just like, I was just so done with it. I just wanted to hurry up and get this over with. I just could not get that one right. And then I cured that and I'm adding a top coat to all of my nails. And then I'm going to cure and add my um, cuticle oil. Once I rub that in, these are how my nails turn out. I am loving this rainbow and I also love how these colors work so good with each other. That gold, like even though it isn't gel polish, it just looks so good. And for my index finger, I felt like I should like start it more up so that the rainbow looks like a, um, a slanted swoop type of nail. But I mean, overall, this nail set still look pretty good. And as always, if you have made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.